Good morning to you. It's Daybreak at iFiber 1, 839. Thursdays at this time, we have uh, great visitors in from the city of Shelton helping us focus on Shelton, brought to you by our community credit union. Terry Schnitzer and Mike McCarty are on today, and uh, good morning to you both. Good morning, Jeff. Good to see you all here. And uh, Terry, if you're here, that means... Budget conversations in the 2019 Finance. budget. Is everything looking good as we move forward? Yes, um, we balanced the budget and, and council adopted it this last Tuesday night. Okay. And so we balanced, um, have a total budget of $41.7 million. Mm-hmm. And um, 15 point, 15 and a half is, of that is the general fund. This was kind of the first time the seven of the, com- the commissioners, you know, there were th- three previous uh, uh, that had worked on last year's budgets, but we brought in a whole bunch more this year. And I think, Mike, last time we talked, that had a, a little bit of impact on getting things moving through the year exactly. uh, as a late start for them. Um, they're all happy with this on board and, and looks like it'll be a good one. Oh, I believe it is. Yeah, it's a, it, uh, one of the things that they asked me to make sure that we did before I left here at the end of the year is to present to them a balanced budget mm-hmm. and working with Terry and our budget director, Sandy Hines, uh, I think we put together mm-hmm. a great budget for the council. Yeah. And you're right. It was a, it was a slow start because the council didn't come in until May. Yeah. And uh, usually cities start their budget process earlier than that, at least talking about goals for the coming year mm-hmm. and how is the budget going to fit into that. And so the budget development piece was really shrunk. So talk, explain to us a little bit about folks, you know, if we're sitting around our kitchen table doing our household budgets for the month, that might be the day before the next month or something like that. What is it about the city government model that takes a, a longer time to start preparing these things? You want to take that? <laughs> I mean, I can, you tell it's but like at a high last level. Day, he's like, yeah. I don't want that question. <laughs> Well, first, you know, council needs to decide what their priorities are. Uh-huh. So that's when you start in the spring, usually, typically. Right. And then once staff has those goals of the council, then staff can go back and start developing their budgets okay. to those goals and, and their requests. Um, so... It's and you have and, and there has to be a certain amount of time open to the public for input and meeting exactly. requests right. and things exactly. like that. Okay. Yeah. And a big part of the budget is driven by state law. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, the city is required to adopt a balanced budget and they're ado- they're required to do it in the in the time frames prescribed by state law. Uh, but in terms of what's in the budget, that's totally the council's prerogative. What are some of the um, highlights, some of the things that the council has looked out over the year and put into the budget here that they're looking forward to? Um, they're focusing on the economic development. Okay. So they are going to be hiring a economic development is it director. Director. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, so that was a big focus that for is the a general big one. fund. Um, and then what was for the general fund you know that's the status quo basically yeah. for the general fund okay. other than economic development and i think that was a huge step for the city and it really came on the heels of the economic development strategic plan uh-huh. that they adopted earlier this fall and then the implementation schedule which suggested that the council seriously consider it an economic development director so working with the edc and the chamber and the community uh, as a whole, I think that that really is a great step forward for the city of Shelton. And that uh, position will likely work very closely with the new uh, city manager. I think he's got some experience in that as very well. Very much so. Okay. Very, much very so. nice. Very yeah. good. Uh, so, Mike, you're about wrapped up here as you move on uh, back to retirement until the next time they call you and say we need some more <laughs> help, right? Uh, we'll see. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> see how many rings that phone call looks into. Terry, what are some other uh, goals and ideals that the uh, the city is looking ahead to 2019? What are some of the uh, numbers coming in from the state that, you know, maybe say that things are, are back on the upswing and, and more trends? We were talking with uh, Jennifer uh, Beria earlier this week at some of the numbers looking into 2019. and some of the taxable sales numbers and things like that. Uh, good position for the city next year? Right. The revenues have been um, on the upswing. 
Um, we anticipate those to level out. Um, so we're taking a conservative approach mm -hmm. to that. We don't want to overestimate, uh, overestimate our revenues and then get into a problem later. So, um, so the sales are, are up. Mm -hmm. And so it's, that is definitely a help to the budget. Uh, the former commission put forth some rules and adoptions on uh, when it was still the three person on uh, lowering some of the impact fees for businesses to come in and things like that. Is that continuing on into the next year or was that a, a standalone? It was basically a standalone. In fact, that will be an area of discussion moving forward into January, uh -huh. uh, looking at the whole uh, fee schedule, mm -hmm. and we had we've had a couple of study sessions on that. The council considered it as a part of their business, not action, but business agenda, at the meeting on Tuesday, and moved it forward into January. Mm -hmm. So that's an ongoing discussion that the council will have. Okay. Very good. Well, good. I mean, uh, and we talked last week about uh, changes in the times and schedules. We'll have that information again on the website. Uh, well, looking ahead to a good 2019, I'd say. We are. I think we everything are. is uh, moving in a good direction. It is. It yeah. is. Terry, good to see you. Good to see you. Merry Christmas to you both. Thank Happy you, holidays. Jeff. Same Happy to holidays. you. Year.